The MTZ556 and the Core45 go together like bread and butter. These things make the perfect pair. Guys, this is my favorite class setup in the whole entire game. The gameplay in the background that you're watching right now is just insane. All right, I got like over 100 kills this gameplay. Dropped like two, three, four. I don't even know how many swarms we dropped. Lots of stuff going on in this gameplay. These two guns are the best guns in my opinion. The MTZ556 is slept on. You guys got to use it. Use this exact class that I'm going to give you guys and you're going to love it. And then the Core45 is way better than the Renetti even before. I got nerfed all right so guys this is a class setup that I want to share everything with you guys not just one or two things we're gonna look at every single thing all the attachments all the guns all, everything on this class is insane let's get straight into it so to start off this class setup obviously we got the MTZ 556 like I said and obviously we got the core 45 now we got stim shot because stim shots gonna come in super clutch and I always recommend having it on at all times and then we got thermite as well now thermite is also gonna come in clutch if you guys are watching the gameplay in the background you guys are gonna see how thermite comes in clutch more than once it's actually really really nice to have and then obviously a munitions box if you're not running a munitions box the core 45 which i like to pull out the core 45 a lot i like to pull that out in most close range gunfights and you guys are going to see in the background here i pull it out a lot this game okay the core 45 is crazily overpowered but there's a problem with it it's a pistol it runs out of bullets fast you're going to need that muni box just to make sure that you can have as many bullets as you possibly can for this weapon so make sure you guys have that on it's going to be nice i'm not going to say it's super needed for the MTZ or anything, but if you're play if you're staying alive a lot, which I went on a crazy gun streak this gameplay, you're gonna need that mini box. It's gonna come in clutch, all right. Now there's so many times in the gameplay in the background that I want you guys to pay attention to. I should have died so many times, but I just survived and survived, and I don't even know how it happened. I don't know. The game before this, I went like 38 and 30, so th this game was actually crazy. No, I got assault gloves. Assault gloves are really nice. I, I will also say it might be a little too OP with pistols. And when I say a little too OP, I mean like, it, it works a little too well that you're sometimes when you're jump shotting with the pistol, you're missing some shots because it's too fast. It's way too quick and stuff, if that makes any sense. So the assault gloves, definitely use it if you want. I like it, but it's not mandatory. You don't need it per se for this class. I just like it, I run it on every class. So I, I keep it on for that reason. Covert sneakers, dude, I, I, there's so many people that run around this game without, sne without covert sneakers on. They sound like elephants. You just know where they are. Make sure you're running the covert sneakers, okay? And then obviously the ghost TV camo, so that when enemies do call in UAVs and stuff like that, you're not seen, you're not, you're not, nothing's happening. You, you don't gotta worry. And then the infantry, and that's gonna be nice because the ancient infantry vest gives you like that increased tactical sprint duration and stuff and it reduces reduces, <laughs> reduces the refresh time for that tactical sprint so you guys can actually get back to sprinting around quickly now the core 45 the actual class setup for it the under barrel is going to be the xrk edge bw4 hand stop and this is going to give you aim walking speed it's going to give you movement speed it's going to give you ads speed and it's going to give you sprint to fire speed it's really fast and it's really nice you're getting six percent movement you're getting nine percent crouch movement speed nine percent ads movement speed so you can strafe left and right really quick your ads speed goes up six percent and your sprint to fire goes up five now these might not seem like the highest numbers ever but it's a pistol it's all already fast so that's really nice to have and then we got the 40 round mags because yo it, it, you want to have that on for sure and then we got the xrk ipv2 conversion kit and this is great because yo once you hit r1 or L or r2 whatever you guys used to shoot once you hit it it takes a shot the second you let go it takes a shot so you can tap fire this thing so fast and each tap you do is worth two shots which is so nice and that's what makes this gun so overpowered that in two taps you'll be dropping people like crazy with it and then after that we got the XRK Dynamic Precision Stock, and this is going to give you gun kick control and recoil control as well. So it's really nice to have. It's taking away ADS and Sprint to Fire at 2% each, so it's not the worst, but you don't have to worry about it. You're getting 17% recoil gun kick control, 13% horizontal, and 13 vertical. So that's nice to have as well. Something you guys want to think of when using this class, because it does have quite a bit of kick. So that is going to come in nice. And then we got the Slate Reflector, really small sight, really nice on a pistol. So make sure you guys go ahead and use that as well. Now for the actual MTZ, I, I recommend using every single attachment that I have for this gun. I recommend you guys use it as well. Okay, don't use anything else. Use the exact same class. You guys are going to like it. The first attachment, and we need this one because we're going to be focusing on ADS and stuff after. The first attachment is the Jack BFB. Now, this is going to give you that gun kick control, that vertical and horizontal recoil. It's going to give you all of that nice stuff that you really need. 55% recoil gun kick, 20% horizontal, and 35% vertical. So it's really good to have. Definitely nice to have. Makes this gun pretty much a laser at close to mid range. And even long range, it's not too bad. Now, the barrel that we're going to throw on is going to take away some recoil control, but it's going to give us a lot of speed that we need for this class. And that's the MTZ VLDL 3568 barrel. 
It's a long name. I think it's the first barrel to get anyways, so I wouldn't worry about it, but it is a long name, all right? Now, you're getting ADS, you're getting Sprint to Fire, and you're getting Sprint Speed. You're getting 2% Sprint Speed, 1% Tactical Sprint Speed, 7% ADS, 8% Sprint to Fire. You're losing 3% Horizontal and 5% Vertical, so not the best, but in all fairness, it's a fast fast attachment and we need that because the jack bfb is going to make you a little slower but also the 50 round drum is going to make you slower as well now you can use like obviously the 30 round mag that comes with this gun but i recommend the 50 round drum it's nice you get a lot of bullets you don't have to spend so much time reloading and in all fairness you're losing 12 percent ads two percent sprint to fire but it doesn't feel like it in game your ads is actually still pretty quick so i wouldn't worry about losing that too much and it just it's still overall really nice to have after that we got the jack glassless optic for precision sight picture obviously and firing aim stability which is really nice that it actually gives you that but it does take away a lot of people don't realize this the jack glassless optic does make you a little slower in terms of adsing which is all right because we got the assault gloves on if you jump shot and stuff your ads is gonna be up anyways but it does bring down the ads by two percent so it is something thing but it's really minimal that i wouldn't even worry about it all too much and then finally for the last attachment we got the rival ace grip now the ads on this one is really nice the sprint to fire on this one's really nice but you also get movement speed which is great and you get aim walking speed again which is great now your flinch resistance goes down 33 percent so when you get shot at you're gonna flinch but this gun is so easy to control i wouldn't worry about it and your recoil gun kick is up five percent as well but i wouldn't worry about that as well now the movement speed is four percent the ads movement speed is four percent as well and then the ADS speed and the sprint to fire speed are both at 4% as well. So it's a pretty decent gun. It's not that slow. It might look slow because of the Jack BFB and the 50 round drum and stuff like that. And even the Jack Glass is optic, you could argue. But overall, it's not a slow gun. It's actually really, really fast. Now, the gameplay in the background, guys. I just want to talk about it in a second, okay? Because I was trying to record the Core 45. I wanted to make a video on the Core 45 and stuff. But then I realized it's just not good to use that gun alone. It's, it's, it's kind of hard. And especially on the medium-sized or smaller medium-sized maps, it's a little tough to just use the Core 45. You run out of bullets so fast. Mid to long range, it's not that great. Close range, it's a beast, but only close range. So I was getting gameplays. The one before this one, I went like 38 to 30. The one before that, I went like 50 and 25 and stuff. I was getting decent gameplays, but not the best gameplays. And then I got this one right here that you guys are watching, 102 and 18, which I just thought was crazy nice. Now, I probably got an easier lobby because of the previous games that I had using the Core 45. But overall, I think the MTZ, once I started using the MTZ, with the core 45 together i think it's the perfect pair i think these guns work together nicely the mtz is great at close range it's great at mid range it's great at long range but that's where you want to focus it on is mid and long range and that's where it works out nicely and then you can whip out that core 45 like you guys saw for close range now there's a lot of points where i should be dying there's a lot of points where there's a lot of enemies rushing at me and i'm using my mtz i'm shooting at them run out of bullets whip out the core 45 shoot at them with that and it does the job so guys i recommend using this class i recommend using both these guns definitely they're both really good and if someone could let me know down in the comments below what is the gun streak that i went on what what kind of streak did i go on I, I didn't count i was playing i didn't even look at the bottom to see what it said i was on i feel like i was on at least a 20 maybe a 23 something like that i don't know let me know if someone could go ahead and just like find the spot where it says right before i died where it says how many kills i was on if someone could let me know that that would be awesome all right man that's gonna be it for the video though if you guys do like this type of class setup let me know down in the comments below which i'm kind of changing up the editing style on these videos kind of seeing how it goes trying to see which one kind of works the best and stuff so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i would appreciate that drop a like on this video sub to the channel those noties turned on thank you guys for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace
Thank <laughs> you.